Ginger Ninjas here and today I'm back with some more Bleach Mobile 3D now where I'm going to show you some new stuff that I've unlocked now. As you can see I've flown through the game on level 47 now. I've done quite a bit and there are some new things I've unlocked. So as, as you can see like you've got the limited challenge but uh, unfortunately I've done all that today. So what we have here is if you go gameplay you have your association which is all the different things for your association. So you have school party which is a cone game which, which as you can see you, f you flip over a character piece and you have to match the character pieces so let's see if I can figure this out what are you? Rukia, you're that Toshiro, who are you? you're Ukiora you're Ukiora, you're Ukiora, what's you? Toshiro, oh they're all next to each other are you? Ah. Oh, I saw you somewhere, didn't I? Where did I see Kisuke? You're getting your game. What were you? You're Ichigo. You're Kisuke. You're Kisuke. You're Kisuke. You Ichigo? No, you're you. Okay, you're Ichigo. You're Ichigo. You're Shinsui. You're Shinsui. There we go. So just for doing that, we've got a lot. A little bit of reward. See, it's pretty easy. It takes a little while to keep. To do but so that's your association you've also got an association trial which you do with your association people or you've got the soul reaper agent and we're going to jump in this this is a 10 step mission you get treasure maps for it so basically you go here talk to Ruki Kuchki and you go accept you'll find here it has been a while I've been waiting for you there's lots of things help so basically now on the left hand side there it's got association it says one of ten or 0 of 10. I mean, what does it say? Stop running for a minute, Bjorka. 1 of 10. So we ain't got to talk to Don Kenoji. So we're going to run over to him. And we're going to talk to Don Kenoji. And here he is. And see, you're going to get a gold treasure map. If we finish this whole machine. Right? I'm not going to listen to what he says. Because it takes forever. And he just asks you to go talk to someone else. And go talk to someone else. And they all go talk to someone else. Right. So now we're in a fight. See how, how this fight goes. You're nothing to me. You're nothing, you. What the hell? Die. Come on, Hodoichi and Mori. Why am I stuck? What the hell am I stuck on? Oh. Your stupid electricity attacks. Yeah, die. There you go. Now they're dead. That's all they had. That's all they could do to me. Don't. They don't deserve it. Alright. So now... As you see, I just got some rewards for doing that one step. Now we've got to go talk to Kisuke Unahara. Unahana. So let's go talk to him and see what he wants. Alright, hi Kisuke. Got some random stuff, need help. Customers of the store. Alright, so where's the next customer? The mystery man. Find the mystery, mystic man. Mystic man, not mystery man. Oh, mysterious man. Alright, go, go, go. Let's go. I can't read today, apparently. Oh, what have I got to do now? I've got to fight. Oh, hi. I'm going to own you up. How are you, how are you not dead? Oh, I should have waited for him to spawn in, shouldn't I? Now you're dead. Yeah, I killed him. Oh, what's the next mission for us? What's he got to do now? Gotta go talk to Kisuke again. Okay, hi Kisuke. What do you want me to do now? Good job. Blah 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 blah. Thank you for my rewards. Now talk to Grandma. And here's Grandma in the cemetery. I'm nervous. Where did the child go? Okay, so she wants us to talk to the little girl. So we gotta go find a little girl. Uh, niece, maybe. There's a grandpa. Oh, there's your little girl. Hi, little girl. Yeah, grandma asked me to come find you. Oh, all this back was running. Bianca, your legs are going to be burnt off soon. Let's keep going. I found her. 
Now I'll go and talk to Hanatolo. Let's go talk to Hanatolo. Now, just before I get into more of this, if you're new to the channel, please hit that subscribe button to support us. We, we really could use your support to keep these sort of things going, to keep more videos on the channel. And hit a like if you're enjoying these videos. Please comment. Hit us up in the comments. Tell us whether we suck, whether you like us, whatever. Just do it. Alright, so now we've got to collect some herbs. We've got to herb it up. And as you can see, we've unlocked quite a few characters, and I'll just show you all the characters we do have. So we have Byakuya, Yoduichi, Mayori, Renji, Rukia, Shikaiichigo, Jurishio, Nemu, Udiyu, Gin, Ichiru, Ikeku, Crappy Ichigo, Chad, Hanataro, and Odahime. Now, if there's any characters you want me to use, prioritise. Now you can say it's a really shit character, a decent character you want me to prioritise and make videos on just using that character. Please hit us up in the comments, tell us who you want us to me on Bradley. Bradley's not here right now, but who you want us to play as. Right now I'm using Byakuya, Yudoichi and Mayori in my team. So, let's carry on. Hi Hanato though. I found you your herbs. Thanks for the... Ah, thanks for the map and now we're teleport somewhere else. Okay, Street Park. And now I haven't seen Karim Muzu. Where is she? Where's she gone? I'm going to go talk to Colleen now. She's run off. She's gone home. See, like this mission, it takes a little while. It takes a little while to finish, but you are rewarded quite well with the maps. Hello. Blah, 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 blah. She doesn't want to be pestered. Oh, no enemies. Hi Frosty. Frosty the snowman is dead. Hey. Stop. Don't move. Hee <laughs> hee. Whoa. We got a blue map. Don't know what they do, but we got one. Right. As you can see, I've got a little partner running around with me. I'll show you them in a minute once we finish this mission. Let's just quickly bash through this mission. Now what I'll do is I'll show you the partner now. Ah, no! I'll show you the partner and all that now quickly. because. So later on in the game, you get partners. As you can see, I've got Noba and I've got Wakami Ambassador. And you upgrade these and they give you stats boosts. They follow you around. You can deploy them. You can have up to three, but see I need to get to level 55 and then level 50 to have the other two on. Have any more on. You upgrade them with special potions. They have a talent, but you need upgradable materials to give them them. Also you have the woman's The Woman's Soul Reaper Association and you basically you go on explorations and get items, as you can see I just got two hundred silver. You have a tea party with them. They like tea. See, like, I can't make that tea. I've unlocked that tea, but I can't make it. I need I need this. I don't know where I get it, but I need it. So we'll make that tea. Because it, it, these all give you stat boost, and you just got to press stop in the green. See, SSS, nine, nine points. And we just made tea, and we got... 200 gold, that's nice. And then you've got dialogue. So that's they say, you want to know more about the experiment, why? So we could say you stay in the lab every day, I'm curious. I was joined the technology development department, so I want to know more and nothing for you. I say that. I got a gift box. 500. Okay, and look, and you can unlock these other ones as well. So you've got to get 500 moves. 500? 50 Retsu Mood things, you got to get 40 Rangiku, you got to get 40 Soifa, and you got to get 40 Rukia. And they're gettable in certain missions, I'll show you that. But let's finish this now and get this complete so we can move on. Oh, also you get accessories. 
And these are basically what flies around your body. So see, she's got maples, maple tree, maple leaves falling, and he's got sakura, which is basically his weapon. He's got petals flying around him. And you can upgrade these. These give you loads and loads of boosts. As you can see, his one's on. His one's on um, 28. This one's only on 12 because I've prioritised the other one over that because it was a rare one. So let's collect these seki seki. And let's see what we need to do next. But what I love about this game is I'm so addicted to it. It's so much fun. There's so much to do. But it can get over. over uh, learn to speak. Alright, it does get overwhelming after a while because it just keeps popping up with new stuff to do. But uh, until you sort of just sit there and get used to it, it's hard to know what to do, where to go. So I'm just going to try and show you. Well, basically, this is just this. You just go around doing this. What I'll do is, as as I've shown you sort of all that, and you just click it and you carry on. You've got your side missions, you've got your sub stories. So you also have your daily missions. And each day these reset. And as you can see, if you get if you get if you do as many of these as you can, you don't have to do all of them. Just the ones like if you did the association donation one, you could get get enough. That soul reaper agent one, do that, you could you get enough for the max. You do the normal recruitment plus five, and you get five free every day. Do the normal dungeon ten times, upgrade character once. You could um, reset the endless trial, which is pretty easy. I'll show you how to do all these. Um, upgrade a weapon skill. Participate in the Serete contest. Do that one. Elite dungeons. Do that one. Participate in mob plan. Do that one. Treasure cavern. Sorry for brawl. You don't have to. That's on every so often, so that's a bit harder. You can gift a fragment in the association. And that should give you enough. Like these ones, you don't have to purchase stamina don't have to to get the amount so I have, I've never put stamina and I've still got the amount do the use B treasure map don't have to participate in tough battles you can if they're on and you're on the game uh, you can participate in memories once you've unlocked that but that takes a little longer and participate in the association dungeon once you do that enhanced gear participate in quiz and that's basically it if you just do them ones then you will get all of these daily quests finished. You don't have to purchase anything. You don't have to put money on here at all. You don't have to use your gems to do anything. You just participate in these. And if you go, go, it will teleport you straight to that mission. And, and then it will show you what to do. So as you can see, I'm going to this mission here. And as you will see, when I click this, it will say the event has not started yet. So... They have time, there's times they are on and they come on every so often. But what I can show you is some more things. So, as you saw, we're doing the sorrow. So, you have your limited time missions. These are like Battle of Lost Note Chairs, Soul Reaper Brawl, Menace Grande Hunt, and the Inner Selection. Now, these are only on at set times. As you can see, it's time limited. If you go down the bottom here, scheduled, it tells you whatever day you're on and what time they're coming on. As you can see. Now, these are your mob battles, your treasure cavern, your dojo, and invading the Serate. The invading Serate comes later. All of these missions come later, so you'll start off with one of them, and then you level up and you unlock more. These are all multiplayer missions where you go in with people online. doesn't normally take that long. I think the Serate... Yeah, they're all multiplayer. No, except for the treasure cavern, a single. But, this is the one you want to be doing, because this, as you can see, each time you... Up, up a rank, you get rewards, and you can eventually get Sajin, who is a guaranteed SSR. And as you can see, I've got 35 fragments of him, and each time you go up so many, you get more and more fragments. As you see, I just scroll, keep scrolling around. And I've got 26 at the moment through this, I've got others through it. But basically what this is, is you click an enemy you want to face, and it's basically PvP. So your team will attack their team, and you just watch to see what happens. So as you can see, as you see in the moment, Ichigo is basically dead. He is dead now. We just killed Udiu and Chad's dead as well. And you get a hundred if you finish the mission. You get a hundred if you 
kill one of their enemies but can't kill the rest and you still win you get less and less and less to the point where you if you lose you get none basically but yeah so you have 10 attempts every day you ra your rank increases and each time you go up so many you earn rewards you've also got the endless trial which is basically you go on here and this never ends so I think there's 80, well it does end, there's 80 stages, I've only been able to get to stage 30 so far. And basically what you do is you click it, you click challenge, and it's a fight, and each time you win, you up, go up the levels. And, and the higher you get, the better rewards you get. But you have a time limit to clear it, and if you don't clear it in that time limit, the mission will end and you will lose all the progress you've done. And it instantly goes into the next one. So I'm just going to press that. And this is your restart. So if you go this. That will give me. Restart the whole thing. And it gives you. Your restart. So you just claim that. I'm going to claim that one. Also what you've got. Let's have a look. What, what else you've got in gameplay. The Outlaws. That is. Seriously. Don't try it. It's the toughest mission. And I think it's just one enemy and it takes you, I think you've got to be the highest level in the game to be able to do it. You've got the tough foes which is, this pops up every how often you find a tough foe and you fight them. No, I didn't mean disappear from it all. The memories are missions where you play through their memories, as you can see. You can, some are not available today, some are available today. So you play through these. And this is the recruitment. You must have already seen this. Probably have. So see, as you see, I've had you get five free, and I've just done that. So normally these don't give you anyone, but if I now go back out and do my go on my daily, that will have a free gold ticket, which is a better chance of getting characters. Also, you have achievements. So every time you do an achievement, as you can see, I conducted forty summons. You get gems and a star. The more stars you get comes down here so I need to obtain 180 stars and I get 350 gems you also have your your welfare and this is your daily signing so you just click the one you're on that day and it gives you to it you also got your online thing so every time you're online see I just got five tickets because it says guaranteed to get five advanced recruitment coupons when lucky if you do tw that 20 times then you've got your event. There's a, so much to know. You've got daily packs. If you want to do that, you've got your growth fund and you've got your privilege pack. Now, I haven't actually done any of that. You've also got your store. So this is where every day this resets and new characters will pop up. As you can see, like you can get an Ishian shard. I think it's only one shard. Yeah, one shard for 50 gems. Now, I've never brought them with my gems. These ones that are with the like potions... You get loads of them from summoning, so they're the best ones to open. But I've got all, all the characters I can get. It's just this one, which is a universal ticket. But I don't. That's a lot of money. As you see, like, I've got enough to buy this ticket, so I'm going to buy this ticket. I get an extra ticket. Then you've got your sanctum store, where if you're doing the sanctum, the Cerate store, where you can get Mr. Sajin. I'm going to get a, a shard of him, and I'll do some more of that, so I can get more shards. Your endless battles, so when you go through your endless, you'll get these. And when you get to a certain point, that's like, see, this says down here, reach stage 120. This says reach stage 70. So, see, you need to reach certain stages to be able to unlock these. And then you've got your soul stage, which I showed you. You've also got your market. And this is, this you, you can reset every day or you can use tickets. And this gives you different things that you can buy with your gold. Uh, what else can I show you? Your bonds. Okay, so. Each character will have bonds. Now you have to get them to a certain level to unlock their bonds. But, what happens is. If I just take off Rookie for a sec. All the characters, you can equip any character. So I can even equip Akaku and it gives me a little bit of a boost. But if you equip one that has a bond available that says underneath, it will give you a massive boost because there's a bond, as you can see. And it gives you an extra, down the bottom, it says bonds effect, character armor plus 28%. So you want to try finding the bonds and using them. You've also got your gallery. So when you get enough shards, you go compose and you will make that character. You've got your gear, 
that you can enhance and so as you can see I've got gear in every slot you can refine it I can't technically do it I can do this but this takes your gold let's get to 30 and these ones take your, your silver silver is far easier to come by than gold okay what else can I show off right now before I end this video alright that's another thing if you want to know about your bonds there is a way of if you go up here and say where it says recommended click recommended it will show you so you've got featured recommend these are ones that the game is basically saying these characters are good to have on the same team and it tells you if you click the little bond icon it tells you whose bonds they have so as you can see uh, he has Yuchiru, Ikaku and Yumichika and he has them and if you go speed now you can see which one, so as it says like that, I, I, I own Yoruichi and you can go to Frost, I own Byakuya, Sleeve, I don't own any of them, Poison, I own two of them, uh, Bleed, I don't own any of them, Flame, I don't own any of them, Resurrection, I don't own any of them, or Critical, I don't own any of them, but the characters you do have, if you go suitable for me, so it shows Poison, I've got most of them, I've Speed, I've got most of them, Poison, I've got two of them, but stun, I've got all of them. The only issue is my um, uh, Jurisho isn't very, very, isn't a very high level, and I don't really have any characters to bond with him, other than Rukia. But then I have to remove Rukia from him to have him on him, and then I have to remove Ichigo from him to have him on him. So it's it's sort of a a hard way to know what to what characters to use. But that's what it says suitable for me. So I will level him up and probably use him as my main character, as one of them. So that will be my main team for a while. So also you have your, your daily draw that comes on. So after you accumulate so many tickets, you'll get that. <coughs> also there, what, oh, I didn't mean to click it. In here it says re recruitment, 112 tickets. But if I use 150 tickets, I will get an, a new SSR guaranteed in my next pack. In that pack, that is the 150th one. You also have on sale, so if you go on the on sale, it, every day it gives you a new sale. So for 400 gems, you get free tickets, which is a, a very good thing, but I don't have enough to buy that. You also can click these, and it says Daily Quest, so I should store how you can get a ticket for free. And that's basically it. That's all I'm gonna, I can show today. You've also got like your, your Easy, your, norm, your Elite, and your Nightmare that haven't unlocked yet, so I need to be level 50. I'm almost there. I'm almost on the Elite. Um, but yeah, that's you also got your squad eleven, which is basically online um, fights which you do against the bosses. I guess I've not actually done it yet because I can't find anyone to play it with. So yeah, that's basically it. So next time I can just sit down and do some missions instead of showing you everything. And hopefully you've enjoyed this video. If you have, please hit that subscribe button, hit that like button, uh, and we will see you next time.